Hi, Joe Paprocki from Loyola Press for a pop-up catechesis. So, you know, a friend of mine asked me to take care of his plant while he went on vacation. And he jokingly said, now don't kill my plant while I'm gone. Well, you know, I certainly didn't set out to kill it. I mean, it's not like I poisoned it or something, but I did neglect to water it regularly and... Plants, of course, do need water in order to survive and to thrive. So I guess technically, I did kind of kill this guy. Oh, well. The fifth commandment, of course, is you shall not kill. Well, most of us can go to sleep each night congratulating ourselves for not breaking this commandment because most of us will not go out and murder someone today or any other day of our life for that matter. But does that mean that we are, we are obeying the fifth commandment? You know, at its minimal level, yes. However, the fifth commandment is about much more than not directly killing someone. Like this plant, human life needs to be cared for, protected, and nurtured. So the spirit of the fifth commandment calls for us to do all that we can to promote and protect and to respect human life. And if we're not actively engaged in doing so, we may very well be contributing to circumstances that can be harmful to human life. Much in the same way that I contributed to the demise of this poor plant by not actively caring for it. So talk to your kids about all of the various ways that you can work together as a family to promote, protect, and respect human life, beginning at the moment of conception and continuing until natural death. It's not enough to not kill. We need to be pro-life at every stage of human life. For pop-up catechesis, this is Joe Paprocki. Until next time, God bless. Let's see if I can do something to help this poor guy.